Welcome back guys to another beer review. Right, uh, the beer we're looking at now is beer. I tried picking up a while ago to get the glass with it. Uh, I also picked it up a shorter time ago to review it, but the review was sh absolutely shocking I thought. So I never actually put it up and then I got out and bought it again to review. Uh, and the beer we are on about, as you will tell by now, because you would have seen the title, is an Italian one. And it's uh, Angelo Peretti, premium, in t premium Italian lager, basically. Angelo Peretti. It's in a 660ml bottle. It's coming in at 4.8%. And it cost me about £2.20, I think, from the one stop over the road. Now, there was a time they were... They had these on offer in the one stop and you were getting a free glass with it. But it, it turned out when I saw it, they either had the glasses and no beer or they had no beer or they had all the beer and no glasses if you like. Uh, so yeah, I finally got hold of it. I'm finally gonna review it. Will this go up? I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but I suppose it should do. Anyway, there's the label. I quite like the label. I do like the old bottle cap. I do like the branding. This is brewed in Wolverhampton, so about an hour from me, at Carlsberg Marston's. It's about as Italian as me. So the glass we've got to put it in, it's probably sacrilege putting it in one of these. It's an ABK glass. Uh, it's a German lager glass. And the reason I'm putting it in that is just because that's the sort of shapish of an Angelo Peretti glass. Uh, so yeah, let's get her cracked open and see what we get. It's a pretty much a sort of budget sort of beer really, isn't it? It's not expensive. I'm just adjusting the camera, there we go. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. I was tempted to put it in the old Moretti one, but I wanted to get a glass that was maybe a bit more similar in shape to what the original glass is. So here we go. Am I expecting much from it, <laughs> to be honest? No, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> so beer in a glass. It is absolutely crystal clear. It's a lovely sort of golden amber, we'll call it, colour. A finger of compact white head. The glass is nucleated, so we've got bubbles going up the middle, as you can see there. It looks like standard fodder. So, I'm not a massive fan of Italian lagers, to be honest. So let's dive in with the nose and see what we get. Got a burp coming, excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. There's that typical little bit of maltiness, almost a rice, corn kind of thing going on in there. Little bit of hoppiness. But like every other premium lager really that you pick up in a supermarket. So rather than wasting time sniffing, let's dive in on Angelo Peretti premium Italian lager, 4.8%, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, same as most other beers, to be honest. Uh, in all fairness, I mean, if you get a nice head on it, which was, you know, that's a good compact head, the body feels nice with that. It does feel like it's got a bit of weight to it. Carbonation is quite light for a standard sort of lager, but it is there, so it's not really causing it any problems in that department. It's pretty smooth and soft. On the taste. For me, you get that little bit of hot bite, but everything else feels very much the same as every other beer that you get in a supermarket for me. Light malty notes in there, hoppy, 
a little bit of bitterness with that hoppiness at the start. Back end. You do get a light sort of lemon sort of citrus note in there. Like I always say with lagers, you get that sort of thing anyway going on. It is very smooth to be fair. It's very smooth to drink. It is easy to drink as well. 4.8%. Yeah, well, it's drinking around that. It's drinking around that. There's no overpowering alcohol sort of thing in there. It does end for me a little bit, I don't know, a little bit rough or nasty on the back end for me. But, I mean, it's one of them that, that doesn't have much going on really if you're just sitting there drinking it you're not going to notice it's got an awful lot going on there's maybe a little bit of a biscuity feel with the malts in the background but you've got to wait for all the the other stuff to sort of go to really sort of pick that up uh yeah it, 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 it really is just another one of them sort of like typical supermarket beers. Uh, it wouldn't be one that I would rush out and buy again, if I'm totally honest, because there's so much stuff in the supermarkets now. I think there's better lagers than this. Well, I know there's better lagers than this personally, but it depends on what you like. Like I say, I'm not a massive Italian lager fan. Uh, let's just have a quick... You know, let's try and think about what you might eat with this, or if you're in Italy, actually drinking it. Probably tastes totally different in Italy. Yeah, I mean, you know, it has got that lightness about about it, if you like. You know, like I say, I think it'll be a totally different drink if you're out in Italy to be honest. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I could see myself sitting down having a pasta dish or something or pizza or chicken or something with that. It's, it's, it's probably very nice in Italy. Not as nice over here. Standard fodder, you know, £2.20 for a massive bottle. Can you complain? I suppose not. If you're the standard sort of lager drinker, you're probably going to enjoy it because it just tastes like pretty much every other lager in the supermarkets. Uh, if you like sink a little bit more, you, it's probably not going to be up your street. But uh, Angelo Peretti is it's drinkable. <laughs> it's not it's not terrible, but it's not going to set your world alight. So uh, that's it for this review. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Half a pint left. I'll soon get it down me. Uh, feel free to like, share, comment and all that lot. And uh, I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.